and Mr. Sila My team are the winner So we come here with the pure in heart Now listen when your team talk Your team can make my walk Your team can make my walk My team have a pure in heart Now listen when your team talk Your team can make my walk Your team can make my walk In a glittering opening ceremony, which marked the start of a new flow NBL season at the UTEC Auditorium, one thing was evident, and that is Urban Knights will not give up their trophy that easily this season. My name is Damian Gordon, and for the next 13 weeks, we will be bringing you the Roundup with innovations. Back with the action after this time -off. I'm Mr. Sila, my team are the winner. So we come here with the pure in heart. Now listen when your team talk. Your team can make my walk. Your team can make my walk. My team have a pure in heart. Now listen when your team talk. Your team can make my walk. Your team can make my walk. I'm Mr. Sila, my team are the winner. So we come here with the pure in heart. Now listen when your team talk. Your team can make my walk. Your team can make my walk. My team have a pure in heart. Now listen when your team talk. Your team can make my walk. Your team can make my walk. Welcome back. 28 teams will be competing for the Flow National Basketball Trophy and they were on show in a very colourful opening ceremony, highlighting the official start of the three-month season. The Silverbird Steel Band brought the house down with their smashing performance. Semi-Pro is a top of the agenda. 
I have to challenge everyone here who has a Facebook page and a phone and friends and family that you have to do more. Because in 2009, we were sold out of every game. Java cannot alone by itself keep this league together. No one in Swampers cannot keep this league together. The players, the staff, the coaches, everyone must tap into their friends, family, and social network and just send an update on your page to say, guys, I'm playing today. Send a text, I'm playing today. Call a friend or family member and say, come and watch me play. If we don't get eyeballs in, sponsors don't come. I look around that the number of teams, and when I heard where they're coming from, I said, but I don't really need to talk about sport and the role of sport in communities anymore because this is sheer evidence that sport plays a very significant part and role in building community. If I could wear my Institute of Sports hat just for a moment, the mission of the Institute of Sports is to honor and nurture talent at the grassroots level, at the community level. A number of key players that we see representing Jamaica, representing the West Indies in different sports. We can name them. The Chris Gales of this world, the Yuan Blake, Marlon Samuel, quite a few other players. They all began at the community level. They all began as juniors, 10-year-olds, playing different sports that the Institute of Sports were able to organize at the community level. And we can see where they have reached. The community is a very, very integral part in sport development, and sports is a very integral part in community development. When you look around at the players from the various confederations, from the various clubs, there's a very strong community emphasis. There's no question that the community within which you function and which you operate comes out to support the respective teams and allegiances are formed. And as a result, the community learns, the community grows, and the players within the community grow. Now, every one of you wearing shorts today has an ambition to be a better player. You all know where your talent can take you. And I believe that it starts at the community, it grows into clubs, and it grows into the national situation. And therefore, I know that everybody has a national ambition. Sports today is very big business. Gone are the days when, when I used to play sports, when it is all a recreational situation. Sports is still recreational. But believe you me, sports is very, very big business. The competition is being played in four conferences. Western, Central, Southern, and Eastern. Before the round of 16, we caught up with a member of Team R from the Central Conference, and we put his back against the wall. Well, we have five teams in our in Central, and Team R is looking to come out number one this year. We've been training for the past six weeks, and our guys look really good. We've been hitting the hills, we've been running, and putting in our work. Like Ajani said, we're putting in our thousand shots a day. We have a, a good blend of older folks and young kids now, and the older folks are teaching the young kids how to win games, how to be a professional. And that's what Tima is stressing this year, how to be a professional athlete, not just a club player. We have a new coach, in, Coach Andrew Brown, and he recently won Coach of the Year for Bel Air, and he's doing an excellent job, excellent job coaching us keeping us motivated, and we're going to the next level this year. You're set to the next level. Will you be able to clear the bar despite going to the next level? Well, of course, when we get to the next level, there are other hurdles there. So our first goal is to get out of Central and play one of the Kingston teams, and then we're going to take it from there. Flo's $9 million sponsorship this season marked the third year of their $27 million package for the league. And who is better to tell us about the reasons behind the Flow's involvement than Sales and Marketing Vice President Donovan White. 
expectations are high. Um, coming off the end of last season where Urban Knights and Tivoli played what some people argue maybe the best basketball game they've seen on local soils in a very, very long time. We expect the, the, the standard of the games to improve this year yet again. Um, Jabba has done a wonderful job of continually um, infusing new energy um, and we are looking forward to um, doing more community engagement um, activity around our sponsorship of basketball and that, is, that essentially is our primary reason for continuing our focus around sports and specifically around basketball. We have the Western, Central, mm -hmm. Eastern and Southern. Right. Is this a remarkable achievement having basketball in all the communities as well? It is absolutely a remarkable achievement and I, I tip my hat to really the hard working people at Jabba for, for having the vision and sharing that vision with us at Flow and giving us an opportunity to, um, to help them develop that vision um, into what it is now. Um, as I said before, one of our key um, goals this year is to continue to infuse ourselves into community engagements through basketball. Um, you know, one of the things we want to also do is to ask our teams to take advantage of the flow public access channels on channels 330, 332 and 334. And by doing that, what they can do is simply do simple videos, community videos of, on, the, on their own and submit them to us to be aired on our, our um, public access channels, which are based in Cornwall, Middlesex and Surrey. And that will give communities an opportunity to see themselves on TV. But more importantly, it allows the, the, the players, the clubs, the managers, the coaches to, to engage the community in terms of coming out to basketball and coming to watch them play and help them to win by, by just providing that level of support that is always needed or what you call the six man on the court. And finally in this section, Flo continues to have management seminars with the clubs and the latest stop was in the Eastern Conference in St. Thomas to be exact. Some of us might be wondering, how come we've been around for such a long time, we don't win the conference championship, we don't this, we don't that, and we don't that. I'll point you to the answer. Certainly because we don't have some of these very important things in place. After you sit down and create a vision, you know what usually happens after that? Everybody rally around it. In other words, in a short little while, you see things booming in a particular way. It is because when energies come together like this and do something as, as beneficial as that, after that, the people start believing in it. So it's transformational and it's directional. It's larger and grand in scale. In other words, it's bigger than every member of the club. Much bigger than each, each person. So it's a combined effort of everybody. And then it's founded within a particular time. Because guess what? At the end of the day, we should be able to measure it and to assess how we are accomplishing this task. The important thing, and the word to note here, is experience. If you're, not, if you're not thinking about exchange of benefits, you're not thinking about sponsorship. A lot of people, over time, go to somebody and say, can you give me money to do this and do that? That's not sponsorship. The expectation is there. It's a mutual, beneficial arrangement. All right? The sports sponsorship has to be an exchange of benefits. So the sports organizations are looking for what? So your club looking for as we all know, cash, mainly, in-kind support and media benefits, and I'll expand on, expand on those. So there are three things you're looking for. Cash, to run for the programs, in-kind benefit, that is what? Gears, juice, gears, whatever, which can be given in lieu of cash, which allows you to free up some more cash to do other things. The seminar with coaches, administrators and organizers highlight the importance of proper administration in the successful operation of clubs, which will affect the quality of play, the image and profile of the National Basketball League. It has been needed because some of the clubs really don't know how to manage themselves as a club and this um, seminar teaches them and helps them as to how to put a budget together, how to seek sponsorship 
and how to manage their club and how to also structure the club. I have learned now how to approach my sponsors when I'm seeking sponsorship for the conference. Some of the things I've already known, but um, this now has really enlightened me some more as to some of the things that I really need to put in my proposal when I seek sponsorship. This seminar has been very interesting and enlightening. It gives you insight and actually how to set up the executive body of your club in order to lay a foundation. It has given us new ideas and I hope you take back some of these tips back to the club and see where we can move on from there. We know that sponsorship is, um, is very important, especially in times like this. Um, I now have the know-how of how to, to um, go to the companies and get proper sponsorship from them. The group that we have today seem to be holding on to the information that we got uh, quite fairly. Uh, it has, it has seemed to open the eyes of many to you know, move NBL really and basketball, local basketball in Jamaica from one stage to the next. And after this second timeout, we will be back with the opening game of the new season between Urban Knights and the Tivoli Wizards. Not a mouse. <laughs> I'm Mr. Sila, my team are the winner. So we come here with the pure in heart. Now listen when your team talk. Your team can make my walk. Your team can make my walk. My team have a pure in heart. Now listen when your team talk. Your team can make my walk. Your team can make my walk. I'm Mr. Sila, my team are the winner. So we come here with the pure in heart. Now listen when your team talk. Your team can make my walk. Your team can make my walk. My team have a pure in heart. Now listen when your team talk. Your team can make my walk. Your team can make my walk. Welcome back. The opening match between Urban Knights and Tivoli Wizards had the making of an exciting 40 minutes game, but this was not to be. Urban Knights announced that they won't be giving up their trophy without a fight after demolishing their opponents by a massive 21 points in a repeat of their championship decider last the season.
points in this game was the fact that Omar Barnes, who donned the orange and black colors of Tivoli Wizard last season, switched allegiance and were clearly identified in the blue and gray colors of Urban Knights. Television viewers and fans of the best of three decider last season at the National Arena will never forget this basket from Barnes. Well, it's performances like those that Tivoli Wizards will be missing this season. And so, with Urban Knights winning a third Flow National Basketball League title last the season, a fourth is there for the taking, and already space has been made in the cabinet. They did hand back the trophy to the league organizers for safekeeping, but of course, they'll be waiting for the end of the season to collect it again. Championship is mean, much better, but happy, happy for it, because uh, well, giving the fans what they want in the game, sure, a good game and everything. Well, getting MVP is another plus for me, so I'd rather just go back and join board for getting the championship for the next season. Back to the action. They finally won a one-sided contest 73-47, and after they opened up a 15-point first quarter lead and then 28-18 at half time, the evidence was on the wall. A massive 45 points in the second half enabled the Huenden based club to record the highest ever margin of victory in the opening game of the season and also the most points scored. What a tremendous performance by the O'Neill Brown coach boys. This effort came mainly from Barnes. Barnes finished with a game high 25 points and that surely must have sent a message to the other teams. Andre Morid, 15 points, 9 boards, and a double-double of 12 points and 10 rebounds from Kwame Lawrence, while Andy Smith got 24 points for the losers. The guys put out a lot of work over these two months before we reach here, and I can tell you, there is more to come. It's a repeat of last season final in the opening game. Were you expecting to just blast them away so easily? Well, actually, we got better because we we'll have about four addition new players. You understand? One from the opponent team, Omar Barnes, and Travis Hamilton went away on scholarship and he's back home. You understand? So the team is more compact this year. You understand? Because it's a mixture with youth and veterans. We're not the same team like at the ending of the season. You understand? It's just the first game, so we're going to get better as the season progress. You have the bench to take it through? Well, yes, as I tell you, the team is deeper this year. Deeper? Yeah, very deep. <laughs> <laughs> and on the basis of today's performance, well, I'll, up to I'll, I'll run today's performance about 40% of what we can play to our potential. The sky's the limit. No, I don't think it's a disappointed performance because um, we, we, we have some, some players that we're working with. So I wouldn't say it's disappointing. You have lost Omar Barnes to your opponent to beat you today. Yes. He's a vital player in your organization. Can you replace him? You can never replace Barnes because um, the way he plays is a, is, a, is a player like this. He, he hustles a lot. You know, he used to play for Urban Knights and I come and play first. Mm -hmm. So that's half team him, 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 him back with Urban Knights playing and they win today. You know, that's half the team. No, moving forward, we're going to um, prepare. I'm going to prepare my team more because I say we have new players that are working. So when you have a team, when you have new players, you have to get in the system. It's, going to be, it's just unfortunate to play a team like Urban Knights. But we will get them. We will get them. Any star to look out for on your team? Star? Yeah. Well, we, we, we're typically all stars. I mean, everybody's a star inside. Finally, you could get them make up the league and 
Sir, to me, you look like you're worried. I'm not. I'm telling you, we, we will get there. Trust me. I'm Mr. Sila, my team are the winner. So we come here with the pure in heart. Now listen when your team talk. Your team can make my walk. Your team can make my walk. My team have a pure in heart. Now listen when your team talk. Your team can make my walk. Your team can make my walk. <laughs>